Hello everyone, this is Joanna Solano from Costa Rica. I'm a long distance triathlete and I've been a compressor athlete also for many years. And I'm very happy to show you the kind of stretching exercises I do after pretty much every session or every time I have to kind of cool down my body and try to make it feel better. Uh, but before we start, I would like to give you an important message. We will all get so many more opportunities to go out there and have fun and do what we love the most. But this is not the time. This is simply not the time. We have to listen. We have to stay home and support causes and efforts like World Care Day. Remember, you have to go to compressor.com and register. Remember that Compressor will donate one set of care socks to medical workers for each participant. Make sure you register and tell everyone in your community to do so. We're ready to start now. And this will be our first uh, position, which is just um, a regular, comfortable sitting position. Um, if this is not comfortable for you, you can also use a yoga block or just a regular pillow and sit on it. That will help you uh, lift your body a little bit and it will make it um, a little bit easier. So we're just, just gonna start. You're gonna put um, our hands facing up. Just relaxing over the knees. Try to stretch a little bit your neck. Body with that air that brings you life and energizes you. Exhale out your problems and everything else is not helping. Just free your mind, free your spirit. One last time. So um, we're gonna start with our stretching. Good, for this first stretch, we're gonna put our chest towards the body. Feet facing down, resting on the floor. And we're gonna open out the arms, nice and wide. We're gonna relax the shoulders. Do not squeeze them up, just relax. We're gonna relax there for just a couple seconds. And then we are gonna bring one foot all over behind you and tap if you can. Gonna hold it for about 
two to three seconds. And roll over and change the foot. Tap. And we're going back and forth a couple times. And every time you do it, just try to go a little bit further and hold it for a couple more seconds. Great. Now the other. Try to push yourself a little bit, but it doesn't have to hurt, remember. It has to be relaxing. One last time. Go back to the original position. Keep your head in line with the spine. Relax. Now bring your, uh, the hands next to the shoulders and push. Bring down the shoulders far from the ears. And go down. Extend the arms. Take a couple deep breaths in this position. We're going to do it a couple more times. Remember, bring the hands next to the shoulders and push up. Open your chest, lower your shoulders, head up, and breathe. Down slowly. Hands in front of you. One more deep breath. One last time. Let's go up. Push it. Open in the chest. And breathe. Go down. to um, our next stretching. For this next position, you're going to bend your knees and sit on them. You're going to put your hands on the ground and go to a downward dog. Like this. Take a couple of deep breaths in that position through the nose. Now you're going to put one foot up and in between your legs, I mean in between your hands, sorry, <laughs> put your knee down, rest the foot, and you're going to put your, the rest of your body nice and tall. You can rest the hands on the knee or if you feel comfortable, you can just put them up. Try to stretch as much as, much as you can, but remember that the knee has to be over your ankle. Okay? Stretch. Let's just hold that position for a couple more seconds. Deep breath. Inhale in. Exhale out. Hands on the ground, and we are going back to the downward dog and do the same with the other foot. Remember, go up. Put it in between your hands. 
rest the other knee. Knee over the ankle. Hands resting on the, not the knee, or your people then up and stretch. Try to touch your feet if you can. That's that's fine. That's not a big deal. You just you can just touch any part of your body and try to push a little bit further. But if you can touch your feet, that's great also. Now this is the good part. We are gonna bend our right knee. Um, so that the front of our foot comes down to the floor and the heel is touching the outside of my hip. We are going to walk our hands to the back and rest on our elbows if that's possible. If, if that is not possible for you, if that, if that feels a little bit uncomfortable, you can just rest on your palms. Or, as I said, you can just Rest on your elbows, look up, and open your chest. You're going to take two or three deep breaths in that position, closing your eyes.
Great. Slowly release the foot and do it with the other leg. Remember, through all this process, you have to be um, inhaling in through the nose and exhaling through the nose too. Okay, we're gonna do it with the other leg. You know the process. Try to stretch with your head touching the leg. The sole of your feet is on the ground. It doesn't have to go like this, okay? It has to be on the ground and stretch. You'll feel it. I'm sure you can feel it. <laughs> I'm feeling it. And rest. This leg is a little bit harder for me, so don't worry if um, one leg feels easier than the other. That's totally normal. Inhale in, exhale out. And one last time. Awesome. We are going to do one more and you're ready to go. And this last exercise will help us stretch our hips, which are very important for running and for many sports. Um, so we are going to sit and bend our knees so that the soles of our feet are on the ground. Hands, uh, hands to the back. back a little bit and we're going to bring the right ankle over the left knee with your backs uh, nice and tall okay don't, don't curve don't do this nice and tall and we're going to try to push without touching it we're going to try to push this right knee out towards the side and you'll feel that Stretching right over here. Again, open your chest. Take a couple deep breaths in that position. If this is comfortable for you, you can push a little harder by just bringing the feet closer to the glutes, closer to you, or just the hips closer the foot. It will stretch even more. Just be careful not to not to do this with your back. Okay? You have to stay nice and tall. Open up your chest. And if that hurts or if it's uncomfortable, just go back again and go to the original position. Very slowly. Put it down and do it with the other. Left ankle over the right knee and push. This part is really important. Push. Just don't, don't leave it just there. Okay, just try to push that knee out towards the side. Open your chest. And breathe. Okay, we'll do it one more time, but this time we are going to add something. Go again with the ankle over the knee and we'll push in this right knee. We're also going to do circles with our foot. Okay, this will help us lubricate the joints. And to the other side. Great. Slowly put it back and let's go with the other. Circles to one side. Also remember, do not collapse. Okay, don't do like this. Do not collapse. Just 
push the shoulders away from the ears, open up your chest, and circles with your foot. The other side. Awesome. We are ready, that would be all. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you liked it. Try to do at least a couple of these exercises regularly. It will um, help your joints and your muscles and your whole body in general stay healthy. And it can help you even uh, make your performance even better. Remember to register on compasspool.com and I hope you have a good rest of the day. Bye-bye. <laughs>